You're a fucking mess. You filled out good, though. <laughs> yeah, right. I had a dream. Of, I took a bus to Atlanta. Why? And I got stranded. Stranded. <laughs> and I was waiting for someone to drive by in the street. Were you that I recognized, and I, I didn't recognize anybody. Have you ever been to Atlanta? No. The fuck would make you have a lot of tans in Atlanta. Probably why a lot of tan trans. <laughs> uh -huh. That's probably you were looking at Backpage in Atlanta, weren't you? Yeah, I look at it every day for a little bit of work. <laughs> it's one of the best. Cleveland, actually, is one of the best, surprisingly. What do you do, scout out different cities? Yeah. Are Kansas you play City. Next attack? <laughs> a little recon mission. West Palm Beach sucks anymore. Really? It's all fucking ugly Spanish That's good. That's ugly. Good. That's good for you then. You won't get any fucking trouble, asshole. You shouldn't Baltimore's be doing that shit. You shouldn't be doing that shit anyway. Just looking at it. I haven't done it over Jay, here. Jay's on his way. He's fucking Yeah, we're here today because we're gonna help Lenny set up finally this power rack that we're gonna set up outside, probably in here, where this so-called attack is there an attack dog in here or is this just a sign? <laughs> I think this is just an idle sign. an idle threat. Pull up your pants and we'll see the fucking crack of your ass. Exclusive. Do you have, have tools? Oh alright, good. Uh -huh. Andrew brought some. I brought some nice here, yeah, thanks. No worries. This one he used he uses it on his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Jay knows where to park. Podcast number two tonight with the fucking bedroom bigot. What time? We'll probably do that late afternoon or something. Yeah, it works. You feel like training today? Yeah, I gotta eat. I gotta probably take another nap after I eat. Like there's, for an hour. there's fans that are in town that want to take us to lunch okay. at like 1.30. You up for that? Yeah. What in the fuck is the matter with you? Why would you take that shit if it makes you delirious like that? No, it, it's good you take it when you get up to Pierce like at five in the morning, and it knocks you out so good. And then because it's in a, on an empty stomach, it, that's when it does its best work. What is it? The H? HGH what? repairs tissue, burns fat, regenerates <laughs> your body. <laughs> it like really does knock you. I mean, when you wake up, you do feel fantastic. Yeah, you look I mean, like I, you feel fantastic. I think the average person should at least shoot fuck is the matter with you? once when they, just do it once like that every day. Here, come sweep this. It's affordable. Come sweep this. Hey, area. do you want it out here? In this little Come on. Wherever it fits. It's gonna fit perfect right in here. Watch Jay. What is he doing? He's not a fucking park his car. Right? This is good. This is, you're not going to get fucking yeah. rained on. J just needs swept. Yeah. Come on, let's see. That thing is still brand new. When's the last time you... It's not the one we got. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it out here. But you don't want to ruin it out here? Good job. See? You, you do not. Oh, boy. We already watched it, Jay. Hey, <laughs> sick fuck. He's such an asshole. He called me this morning. Did you see my IG post last night? I said, yeah. <laughs> don't I look like Archie Bunker? <laughs> He's great. See, the people don't realize that you just... <laughs> we, we all troll each other. It's fun. Exactly. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Welcome back. Dale got another third. <laughs> Dale is really piling up those third place trophies. <laughs> Lenny got fifth. That's almost as good as third. Hey, you're not first, you're last. What's the difference between third and fifth? Nothing. What's the difference when you wait, what do you wait, 208? I think he said 250. Was he trying to be an NFL place kicker? <laughs> <laughs> That little cherub said he was 233 like a week ago. Cherub. <laughs> so what are we moving? The easiest way to do it is is with enough people here, it's gonna be simple because you just you bolt in that top cross member, then do the bottom cross member, then you attach the lat attachment. It's fucking easy. Alright, so let's go. Let's move this shit in there. Well, careful, you got a wire. 
Which side? Jay, how do you want this? I tried to get Dirty Sheena to meet us at the gym. Did she, Brad, did she tell you she wants a gangbang? Or is that no. Lenny's delusions? She didn't tell me she wanted a gangbang. Lenny said she told you that. Yeah, didn't she say that she wanted a misfit baby? <laughs> she didn't say that to me. She must have. Lenny she, comes up with this Lenny, shit in no, his sleep. Lenny met her in Walmart. What is that? Is that what she said to you at Walmart? Wait, who the fuck are we talking about? Some, uh, a, 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 a punk rock girl at the gym. The one in Delray. She's like six feet tall. Lenny wants to impregnate I know who you're talking about. No, I didn't say that. She said she, she wanted to make I, I looked at her Instagram. She's got a boyfriend, a little baby. She's like this. She just cause, And Lenny's like, I'm going to have her piss on me. And I'm like, <laughs> I was thinking of something to do with her. Something to well, do. Whatever happened to going to the movies? Or, or you just know? fucking. Yeah. Lenny thinks that's how you get a gangbang going. Yeah, you offer to let the chick piss on you. I don't want to fuck you. Can you just shit and piss on me? Yeah. Good idea. Dinner and a movie first. Then Jay, she can what, piss hey, on you. Where do you want this? You actually swallow when they piss in your face? A couple of them, yeah. I Com felt compelled. And of course, girl, girl, girl urine instead of. I don't know, how do I put that? Instead of a train. Vaginal urine versus penile urine. Both from women. Oh, you haven't, the trannies haven't pissed on you? Yes, yeah, they have. I said penile women, penile urine yeah, from a woman. A woman's penis. Oh. Don't they call it a clip? Oh. Uh, no, he's. He, what's a tranny call their butthole? Is that man pussy? Some call them pussy. <laughs> you know what I like to tell a girl? I like to tell her, I'm going to eat your shithole. Tell them that. <laughs> Real Casanova here. Yeah. <laughs> Real classy yeah. you are. That definitely gets you a second date, right, Lenny? <laughs> it's worked. What's the largest object you've ever had in your ass? A fist. Oh. You've gotten a fist in your ass, but not a dick. How in the fuck? Is that a Freudian slip, Brad? No, you told You're us earlier. You're trying to say that it's proper to get a dick in your ass versus a fist. Oh, wow. I think I'd rather have a dick in my ass than a fist. <laughs> you said that the... <laughs> If there was a gun to my head and said, You're taking this cock in your ass or my fist, I'll take the cock, please. You well, the, well, the girl was right? obviously a malnourished crack whore. So her hands were small. She was very, she was very tiny. She was not even five feet tall. She was like a midget. The how did, how did she get her fist in your ass? Probably like because I didn't have the mental stigma of getting some type of disease or something. Did she lube you up or just use a little spit? No, she just uh, slammed it. Oh my oh. god, that could rip. It. What did you do? Did it make you shit? No, I had a hard on. Did it bump your prostate? <sighs> yeah. And she gave me the reach around the underbelly. So she was kind of giving you a rusty trombone, but she was fisting you. She's fucking disgusting. Yeah, and the sad <laughs> thing that turns out is the legitimate woman that Serena Williams looked like Jamaican girl opened my door. This is another house I live around the corner. Saw what was going on. Took every fucking egg I had in the, in the refrigerator and started, didn't say where, just started throwing eggs at me. And they felt like rocks because they were, were almost half frozen. Doing? What were you doing while she was throwing eggs at you? I was getting just, his asshole fisted. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then like a week later or whatever, I called her. I said, well, what the hell was that all about? Because there's eggs all over. And they fucking bruised me, cut me. I mean, because the refrigerator was like half broken. So it was like partially freezing all everything in the refrigerator part. And it hurt. No, no, no. no she no, was firing But you need updates for what? And she said, how could you be with something like that? Some filthy thing off the street. She goes, you know I'm an RN. She goes, you're going to pass that disease along to me? So I'm not passing anything. You could have got hepatitis. Could have, but I didn't. <laughs> you have, you're like immune to everything. That's the key. As well as You've I been exposed to, tell, to everything. Well, so you was near MRSA immune. every day at that hospital. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the key. The old Nietzsche philosophy, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger goes for everything in life. The more somebody abuses you, degrades you, tough times you went through, hardships, like I said, you don't die, you're going to become a better person from your going Fuck that, I'd rather be a little rich boy like PJ. Like you. All right, you can't go all the way up against the wall because the lat pull down goes deeper. Yeah, it's... So why don't we have it this way? I think you want it this way unless you want to face the glass while you squat. Yeah, why not? It looks like a mirror. Lenny, is that your house? 
Yes. Oh, then definitely. I would want to smash the glass up. No, it'd definitely be better this way. Yeah, you got more room. You're not going to smash the glass. Don't worry about it. What goes across? Grab that. Hold on to that, Andrew or Glenn. That thing right there. Right. You're actually asking me to work, Brad? There you go. You need Let me go get the hardware. You need the bolts. I got it. Go. You can't go that close to the wall. You've got to think about loading plates on the bar. It's going to have to go all the way over to this edge. Dude, I miss those dumbbells. Those are great dumbbells. And they look like shit. No, I like those kind where you screw on the collars because then the, they don't, they're not loose. Dude, those standard plates, those little tens right there, that's the 110 pound weight set I got for Christmas in eighth grade. <laughs> I've got those weights that long. But no what shit. about the dumbbell bars? Those I bought later, but no, those. I've had those too. They never unhooked. They never unhooked on right, you. Let's not bullshitting and put this fucking thing together, please. Come, Leonard, move this thing over. Honey, you're fucking useless as a tin on bulls. Yeah, I just like tits on a tomcat. Deep, deep sleep, deep. Idiot. <laughs> he was dreaming that speaking he went of, to Atlanta. This putz. Speaking of idiots, what about you last night, you fucking pig? Do you remember doing that shit? No. Uh, the way I smoked that cigarette. You guys are pussies. And I answered my phone, you asshole. I told you if you would have called me a half hour sooner, I would have came down. Lenny, set that down. Look like a moron. Lenny, come over here. <laughs> Don't drop any of that shit in the air conditioning. Jesus Christ. Lenny, hold this over here. Come on, you gotta move that. Fucking poser. Lean that up against the wall, Brad. I need a competent helper. You guys are all idiots. Lenny, will you please Go. explain to everyone listening what you told me when we were at Duffy's, what you do with your used pots after you cook with them? What you well, don't you don't clean them. What do you do in with life, them? Life, I like to find the most efficient way that's gonna free up time for me to grow and to learn. That's my goal in life. And to make myself a more efficient human being. So you don't have so you know, to So you don't want to waste time with the cookie cutter activities <laughs> as much as <laughs> of cleaning a fucking pan. And not getting food poisoning. Jesus Christ. I haven't had it yet. Been doing it for five years. What you do is you have a fry pan where I cook my meats in. Just for the meats, period. I don't put chicken in there. I don't put my eggs in there. In fact, I don't even eat chicken unless it's cooked and stuck, pushed in my face because it's a waste of time. What? Meat, because it's a waste of time. If I'm going to buy eating something and cook chicken. it, if I'm going to buy something and cook it, it's going to be a steak or a grilled salmon, which is going to start implementing tomorrow. Or poached salmon, like Jay said, I'll take any suggestions. Even smoked salmon, I'll even eat that, but... Don't waste your time eating chicken when you can eat a steak. A steak has everything in it and then some. More than yeah, but you got to eliminate red meat going into a show. No, you don't. I never did. I eat more. Well, you got fifth. I, never, <laughs> I was big and hard. Never eliminate red meat. Dale cut out the red meat and he got third. It shows. Soft <laughs> and small. So what do you do with the pots? You got distracted. You simply wait till the pan cools down after you turn the heat off. Stick it in the freezer. That way, you don't have to waste your time cleaning it. I'll clean it, say, once a year. Once a fucking year? It's about as much as I mop my place. All, that, gre year. all that grease build up is a year's once worth a year, of fucking grease. Once a year, just like I mop the place once a year. You mop the place once a year. Pretty much. I thought we're, you're done with that. You said you were going to clean it up this week. I am. I'm going to unveil the cleaning in a week or two. A week or two. Yeah. And then Why don't you throw away all those bodybuilding magazines? Because there's some good information in some of them. He still talking? likes to jack off to them. <laughs> now, you said you like to find a more efficient way to do everything to right. free up your time. Have you found an efficient way to ejaculate? Uh, yes, I don't do it that often. What? When I take Fenaba, which is three or four days a week, it's almost impossible to ejaculate. Really? Why? It just does something to the... It just does it. Just does something to your brain. It, your brain. it kills your sex drive. No, it increases it, but you can't ejaculate. Ah. It's very difficult. Can't. It's hard to ejaculate on G. My theory is because the prolactin levels get so high when you're on it. 
Of course, I take a Premi Pexol, which is... Why would you want your prolactin levels high? Don't want it, but oh. it does increase your GH, and it makes your receptors open. Another thing we're talking about, and you educated me on the steroid hormone binding globulin, injectable insulin decreases that very much so, which I found out recently is another reason to do insulin. Of course, you have to do it the right way, or you're going to end up like, uh, what's his face over here? Dallas McCarver? Right. You think he died from the insulin? Of course. Yeah. Of course. He fell asleep at the dinner table with food in his mouth. Or he tried to shove He fell asleep yeah. at the dinner table with food in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you, a grown man's not sure. Just like that black food. guy at the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what the hell was his name? I forget his name. He did some gay they, porn. They, they found him in his tub, right? In his bathroom. Yeah, we did it twice. His roommate found it a month before. You know. It's like you want to diet and so, die on insulin. You can't do that. No, you got to slam orange juice down their neck yeah. while they're passed out. Or what they do at the paramedics, they take the honey bear enema. You ever see the honey that's in a bear and <laughs> shove it right up your ass? Squeeze the whole bottle in your ass. The paramedics do that. Yes, they do. That's what they get do to the get people out of the out blood of sugar. Here. They have that on the truck. That's a fact. Are you serious? That gets your blood sugar better. Up. Somebody you know, confirm that, please. I'm not any any firefighter paramedics out there. I want to know if that's true. That you care. Matter of fact, you, we're around. gonna have, hopefully have a female do it to me on film. You can shove a whole bottle up my ass. Oh my god! You got people putting out. Imagine you trying to wipe your ass with your butthole hairs all sticky from honey. <laughs> <laughs> So you had to take this apart many times in your life, huh? Well, when did you get the pie rack? Um, this was bought mid '90s. If everything you see, I paid like 1,100 bucks. Oh yeah, I had something very, very similar. I had to let it go when I moved. I left it, which I regret. What do you get? You got, I got to undo this. You got to hold it. It's, fucking... it's too rusty. What's that? can't hold it. Oh my fucking god. I can never work with you fucking guys. You're all <laughs> god, goddamn slow. Luckily well, it's not human out. Good observation, Leonard. I want to give a pissing shout out. That shit me pissing me. Uh, Dude, his Instagram they, is they, unwatchable. They, yeah, it's unwatchable. It's, it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. He doesn't realize it, man. I like how he's killing, he, he's killing his channel with all that stupid shit. He called me yesterday to tell me, I have a huge secret, but I'm not going to tell anyone yet. I said, okay. And then I wake up, and then there's a thing saying, I'm moving to California in January <laughs> to be in movies. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this one in before we take the other one out. Yeah, that's yeah Lord Retard is fucking dumb. <laughs> I think this one's a bad one, too. Yeah, the longer bolts go for the lap pull out. Get the other one. Does Lenny have soap? You, you have the you have yeah. the best fucking Instagram. I love seeing your fucking videos. <laughs> it's fucking great. I, and I, whenever it's dark, you know it's gonna be real good. <laughs> the stupid no. shit that comes out of your mouth. You know um, <laughs> that dome light. Truck trucks have the red dome light. Uh -huh. Like in case you have to look at a map at night, it doesn't fuck up your night vision. That's why it's red. Like you see the army guys with the red flashlight? That's so your pupils... All right, let's talk and work, please. Don't um, dilate. Because the minute your pupils go dilated, you can't see at night. You know what I'm saying? So when I do the IG with that red dome light, I look fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that other bolt go? You're a maniac. All right, that, these are for the last one. All right, you got me which side? It doesn't matter. Lenny, you're going to use this, right? Of course. I just think it has to be moved a little bit. I'm going to see I'm going to lie to the side. I'm putting plates on the side. Yeah, right. It's too close to the wall. This thing's kind of in the way. But we can put it right to the edge here. You know, before we attach the yeah. fucking lat pull yeah, down, yeah, yeah. we need to put the bar in here. You need to train outside the heat and oxygen. That's all good old school. All right, good. Training for third place like Dale Chance. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. No, you're just hungover. Or maybe still drunk. The chin up bar goes up top. Yeah. That's the bottom cross member we put up top. Chin up? We? You got a lot of versatility. Yeah, look. Show. The chin up goes on the top. 
God fucking damn Lenny it. Lenny doesn't even do pull-ups. You don't do pull-ups, do you? Well, yeah, you do? Yeah, we gotta go together the right way. Yes. Yeah, Fuck! What happened? The chin-up goes on the top. I thought you knew what you were doing. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> like I said, you're not stupid. You're actually very lucid when you want to be. You're just still inebriated. God damn it. Well, I answer your back's up thicker every time I see Thanks, it. Lenny. Yeah, I'm making some well, gains, actually. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. You know, I saw Lenny on Friday, and he's like, wow, that trend is really keeping you lean. And I'm like, veins popping out. And I'm like, Lenny, my gut's huge. And he's Doesn't like, matter. yeah, but that's fat. not fat. You're not as fat as you were the last the couple times you were here. Oh, really? It's like no. mine. It's not fat. You've been fatter. A few months ago, oh, you were fatter. You. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. We're all dishing out compliments left fatter. and right today. That's, that's like the nicest compliment. Yeah. Oh, you've been fatter. Yeah. So you been, you have like been. A girl that. Your stomach was much bigger a few months ago. Look at this My guy. My stomach, I guarantee you, weighs 345. Look at that. Look at that calf. I like to see him in a football uniform. Especially with his calves sticking out. He looks scary. You'd like to see him in a No, I thought that would look like him. His arms and legs... We do, it just feels so stupid. much different. You should feel stupid, because you are fucking stupid. I genovaed myself. You, you should have blown into a breathalyzer before you, you know came. What, Leonard? This is the perfect time of year for you to open all your fucking windows up, get the stink out of that motherfucker, and clean it up. No, I think the germs in there stink. are what keep him from getting sick, because it keeps his immune high. You know what it is? Yeah, there uh, is something you think there. it doesn't stink because, like, you can smell your own shit. Like well, you can no, tolerate the smell of your own shit, and that's look at your, your belly button. You look like an African. <laughs> that is a fucking third world country. It looks like a tight belly little, button, like a tight little asshole. I've seen Haitians with a better belly button. Ooh, <laughs> go into detail. <laughs> Haitian belly buttons. Let's see. They got to be pretty much naked if you can see their belly button. That's I mean, a Freudian slip. Look how slip. tight that belly button is. You could put a lump of coal in there, and it would turn into a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> 